You have become close to Abigail. She is a viper. You're jealous. The Favourite, a dark comedy on scheming politics and power struggle during Queen Anne's royal court in the 18th century, and Roma, a nostalgic take on domestic help in a middle-class household in Mexico City, lead the pack with 10 Oscar nominations each. But the number of nominations does not guarantee the winner for Best Picture, considering 8,200 Academy members from different backgrounds are voting in the category, says playwright and director Murray Horwitz. You may have a songwriter who wrote a song for one movie, won the Oscar, or was nominated for the Oscar, gets to vote now. I don't know if, if you're nominated, I think you get to vote. And so that person, who may not know anything about film, but is a great musician, gets to vote for Best Picture. What's the lyric? Horowitz says some vote for their friends, others for or against a studio production company. But those who look at the merits of a best picture, he says, traditionally they look at the film's cinematography, film editing, direction, and script. But not always. Step into the spotlight. What's going on? If Black Panther won Best Picture, I, I wouldn't be upset. Nominated for seven Oscars, that would be a first for a superhero flick. But then again, Ryan Coogler's Black Panther is no ordinary superhero movie. Artistic acclaim aside, it has become a cultural phenomenon that celebrates the African and African-American identity. But how does it stack up next to the competition? Roma's a kind of masterpiece, I mean, it really is. The things that it has to say about human dignity, about the value of human life, about our complacency in, in a middle class or upper middle class environment, I mean, those things are all extremely powerful. This is madness. Sometimes a lady likes to have some fun. And then there is the favorite, checking all the right nomination boxes. I love the fact that the favorite featured women in all the most significant roles. A film's perspective on race may cost some of the contenders the coveted award. Though beautifully executed, five Oscar nominee Green Book, a moving dramedy about the bond between a real-life eclectic African-American music composer and his uncouth white driver during a music tour in the South during the Jim Crow era, has been criticized for whitewashing America's dark historic period. I'm very sympathetic to people who have said, and I agree with people who said, Green Book is a movie that makes white people feel good about themselves. On the other hand, says Horowitz, Spike Lee's six Oscar nominee, Black Klansman, a blistering satire on racism in America, has been criticized by some for over-politicizing the 1970s real-life story of an African-American cop infiltrating the Ku Klux Klan, alluding to today's political climate. America first. America first. This could alienate voters who may not be on message. Is this the real life? Ultimately, Mari Horowitz says, the Oscar for Best Picture should be greater than its performers, its music, its script, its cinematography, and its impact. It should be all of the above. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.